Hi, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace Defensive Handgun Training for Women and welcome back today for Defensive Mindset 101, Episode 6. Today I want to talk about gun-free zones. If you're someone who thinks about self-defense and who is thinking about always being prepared to defend yourself, you should have extra heightened awareness in any place that is declared a gun-free zone. A lot of people have been programmed by our society to kind of check out mentally in a place that's a gun-free zone. A lot of people are checked out mentally all the time, actually. But when you go to a gun-free zone, don't assume that that's a safe place because there's no guns. Actually, it's the opposite. In a gun-free zone, you're a fish in a barrel. You're an easy target because people automatically obey signs that they see on doors um, if there's the threat of jail time or big fines, of course, they're going to be even more likely to obey, to obey the signs. But the crook, the person who's going to commit a crime, if they cared about the law, <laughs> they wouldn't be about to commit a crime. So do you think that the sign on the door that says gun-free zone is going to really make them not carry their gun? Of course not. So when you're carrying in a place, or sorry, when you're present in a place that's a gun-free zone, make sure that your awareness is extra heightened. It should be, you should be aware at all times, no matter where you are, even in your own house with the doors locked. But uh, when I go into a place like a post office or a government building or, you know, police station, places like that, for instance, where I live, in order to go pay my water bill, I have to walk into the same building where the police station is. So it's a place where I'm supposed to disarm myself. I'm going to have extra heightened awareness in a place like that because I'm an easy target. That's why all the time on the news you see shootings in gun-free zones because those people are easy targets. <laughs>